my care management plan cannot involve narcotic painkillers and this is why. Wednesday morning everyone well good news this is the first day since getting that aseptic meningitis that I was able to get up by myself and get dressed by myself and get down the stairs well I don't go down the stairs by myself Harlow helps me but feeling good do not need pain medication this morning last night I felt good before going to bed so I didn't take any pain meds either but apparently because Judd goes to bed much later than me I looked very uncomfortable in my sleep about two after two hours after I fell asleep, so he gave me my pain medication. The good thing about getting it through my feeding tube is I didn't have to wake up. So I'm waiting this morning because my home health nurse is coming. Um, she visits me once a week, and since I went to the hospital, they have to do a special evaluation to see how I'm doing, which is totally fine with me. The nurse came by to visit and it went well. She noticed I have more muscle weakness and that's typical for me after an admission because just being in the hospital and the ordeal that I went through takes a toll on my body and so I just have to let my body recuperate on its own terms and that's okay. Also, we're probably going to postpone physical therapy for this week and next week. One, because we don't want to exacerbate any leftover pain from the meningitis and two, I'm supposed to be getting my new feeding tube on Friday and it's not a surgery. There is already a hole going into my intestines called a stoma, and it's basically just taking this tube out of the stoma and putting the new one in the stoma, but it could make me sore. My intestines may need to get accustomed to the new feeding tube and whatever, so we just don't wanna complicate that any further by adding extra activity. So no PT, that's fine. And I told her I have pain right here, and she said that's very likely from the kink in this current feeding tube. It could be like up under my ribs and just pressing on the wrong places. So we're really keeping our fingers crossed that I can get my change on Friday. But tomorrow is when I see my GI. He's going to review my discharge notes from the admission and just see me if I'm well enough to undergo anesthesia and get my tube changed. I really hope so. We are out of the house. My mom and Harlow and I are going on an adventure. We're just running some errands and John is working today. So it's kind of a girl's day. I'm back at the hospital! It's just to pick up my records and have them faxed to my doctors. No big deal. <laughs> Do you know medical records? Yeah, that's It's a long walk. We're going to take some breaks. <laughs> Well, I can push you in that thing, Jacqueline. That's not how it works. It'll fall. No, it won't. <laughs> so I faxed all my doctors a copy of my records from this past hospital stay, but I wanted a physical copy for myself too. 52 pages for a four-day hospital stay. Imagine my usual stays that are like over a week long. And this is a condensed abstract of all that happened. <laughs> That's crazy. I mean, the doctors here, I guess they take thorough notes. <laughs> Error number one check. Now we've got to go grocery shopping because when I'm in the hospital, some things around the house don't really get the attention they need, like cleaning. There's some cleaning I'd like to get done if possible today. And now we've got to go to Walmart to get some groceries because we're all out. But, you know, just walking the medical records in the hospital was a lot for me. So the only way I can get through Walmart is if they have that motorized cart but we're gonna hope there's one there, right, Mom? Yes, we are going to um, find one. We are cheer that we are gonna find one. <laughs> Let's hope, fingers crossed. They had a car, we've been lucky the past few times because they had them, usually there's none, but I'm thankful to be able to use the tools I need to to get my things done. <laughs> don't fall, don't fall. The risk of vlogging. Vlogging backwards and <laughs> don't fall down. Harlow, there's so many uh, wet floor signs down this aisle. I wonder what happens. Alright, let's go. Be careful. With me. Judd said he wanted some chicken seasoning. So I'm here looking and I'm starting to feel pretty exhausted. So 
glad I have the motorized cart to help, but fading, that's okay. Where do you think Jacqueline is going? Yay, that legging. This is the day, this makes the day of her week. Looking at, but I don't think she should buy any more because she's got plenty. I don't see any new patterns I like, so. That's I just true. wanted to see what they had. Da, 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 da. We finished our shopping in Walmart and now we're going somewhere else. Oh! <laughs> Harlow, with me. Thank you. Aaron, too, check. I am feeling thoroughly worn out from that. Really thankful for things like motorized carts to help me out, but we still have one more stop to make, but I think it's worth it because it's a quick stop and there is a treat in store for me if I go through with it, so. Ah, chocolate chip cookie. Can y'all guess where we are? Publix. What's up with you? I always get a uh, free chocolate chip cookie there. I love it. Made it home and ready to crash. Harlow, get the blanket. Get the blanket. Good girl, Harlow. Get the blanket. Thank you. Oh, good girl. No, I need a napkin. Thanks, Mom. My mom made me a snack. Hey, y'all. So I know it seems like it, but I have not spent all afternoon on this couch. Uh, when we got back from running errands, my mom and I spent about an hour watching TV, and then we went upstairs to do some more chores. We conquered a huge pile of laundry. We folded it and put it away, cleaned the upstairs bathroom, and now the Roomba's running upstairs. And of course my mom did a huge majority of all of that and I'm so grateful for her selflessness. I really am. Um, but I did try to help as much as I could and I don't know if it was the chores I just did or just the pain building up throughout the day but like my neck pain and back pain and then moving my legs uh, sent a lot of shooting pain up my spine so I had to take a narcotic and I didn't, I was trying to avoid it because I didn't need uh, the painkiller all day today, which was awesome. But you know, the pain I'm dealing with right now is not my usual chronic pain. It's pain that I'm still recovering from, from the meningitis. And I'm not going to suffer through pain I don't need to suffer through when I'm prescribed interventions for it. So I just took half a dose of my painkiller. For those of y'all who may not know, I do battle with chronic pain every day. Every day I have some type of chronic pain and it varies. Maybe it's a level two out of 10 and it's barely noticeable. And some days it's like very debilitating and it's mainly from my Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, but a lot of my chronic illnesses play into my chronic pain. And one thing about my chronic pain is my care management plan cannot involve narcotic painkillers and this is why please keep in mind that everybody's pain management plan can differ so just because i can't take them for this reason doesn't mean nobody else can take it for the same reason and my reason for not being able to take narcotics regularly is because narcotics tend to slow down digestion and i already have a huge problem with that due to my gastroparesis so if i were to regularly take narcotics it would just contribute to the problem i have that's already pretty severe and i know people with gp who do take narcotic painkillers because gp itself can be very painful but just you know my medical team has decided it's not worth it for me instead we focus on things like heat and cold therapy and rest and trying to find ways to incorporate good physical therapy to try and alleviate my pain. Of course, there are exceptions when I do take narcotics like dealing with meningitis and when I was recovering from my feeding tube surgery. Those short uh, periods of time to take narcotics is okay, but long-term use for my chronic pain just wouldn't be good for me. So that's why I don't take narcotics. But like I said, other people take narcotics and if it works for your pain management plan, that's amazing. I'm happy for you. So we all just have to do what works for us. And I am planning to see a pain management doctor specifically in the near future rather than like all my specialists right now try to help me with my pain in varying ways. But I think seeing a pain management specialist would be um, ideal and just to see what they can offer because, you know, dealing with chronic pain, it's it's not fun and to have someone who specializes in how to handle that, I think that'd be good. So I have rested and now I am getting things ready for Jeb when he comes home. Like, you know, I like to cook for him, but now he's getting home around three or four in the morning because of his shift. 
So I decided to kind of like have things prepared for him. So I have this chicken that's been marinating. I've got his vegetables ready to go. So all he has to do is put them on the tray and bake it. And I even put the instructions here for him. And I would cook dinner and like leave him leftovers, but he says he doesn't like the taste of leftover chicken, which, you know, I have weird things with texture and taste. So I'm just gonna let him, I'll do whatever he prefers. And I'm making mac and cheese so he can just heat that up. And I have been infusing this afternoon, by the way, it is infusion day. so. Just getting this ready for my husband. And this is the painkiller I was prescribed for this past hospital stay, by the way. It's liquid, because if y'all have been watching, y'all know we put it through my feeding tube, because if I take it orally and it goes through my stomach, I just won't digest it and absorb it well. And, you know, like I said, there's reasons I don't take it. The main one, one of the main ones being because of the added digestive problems it gives me, but also like it's not good for my narcolepsy. It lowers the seizure threshold. So there's a lot of ways to manage pain and narcotics isn't really a good option for me but could be for other people it's nice to know i can use this for like exceptions though like why i'm using it now he's got his tray with his instructions his plate with his mac and cheese the chicken and the asparagus to throw on the baking sheet and his place at the table all set up as for my dinner i have some crackers cucumber cheese and chicken some white chicken breasts sounds delicious Unfortunately, the snack my mom made me earlier, I did not keep down, but I'm feeling like I can potentially eat right now, so I'm gonna go for it. Well, that's it for our day. I'm about to go out for bed. Mom, are you going to bed soon? You say goodnight to the people. Good night. <laughs> we, I mean, it's kind of an early day. We gotta leave the house um, in the morning to go to my doctor's appointment to see my GI. Fingers crossed he's checks me off to get my feeding tube on Friday because I really, really like to get my new feeding tube, especially since this current one is slightly kinked and causing some issues, but we will see what happens. And with that, I will say goodnight and thanks for joining us on our adventure. <laughs>